Hi, this is Rachel. I am often asked, how much working do I need to show for questions in an exam or an assessment? So that's what I'm going to talk about today. So I have an exam question example here. And you can see that we've got our question. It's 18 from a set of questions. And over here on the right, you will see that it is worth three marks. So that is a normal way of showing the number of marks available for a question. And it's the first thing I recommend you look at when doing a maths question. Because the number of marks indicates how much working is expected of you. So usually there will be one mark for the answer and then the remaining marks is the number of lines of working I might expect you to be doing. So that is the first thing that I would say. The second thing I would like to say is anything you do, anything you think, write it down. Even if it's obvious, even if you're doing 2 plus 3 in your head, write down that you did 2 plus 3 and it equals 5. Any thoughts that you have, put on the paper. And that way, you're guaranteeing that all of your working, all of your thinking is being written down. And this may be counterintuitive for some people. I completely understand that. But it's just a habit we need to get into when we are doing maths. So let's have a look at this question. So it is three marks. Uh, now, the first thing I notice is that the question is asking me to give the answer to three significant figures. So that means my answer will be as a decimal. Now, that actually makes my life a little easier uh, because I don't have to work in fractions. So there are several different ways of going a about this type of question. So we're doing 14 27ths of 55. Now the way I'm going to do this particular question is in a two-step process uh, which works with my number of marks. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my number by the denominator, the bottom of the fraction. So I'm going to do 55 divided by 27 and 55 divided by 27 is 2.037037 etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot 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 there because the decimal goes on on my calculator but I'm not going to delete the decimal from my calculator screen. I'm going to leave it there because I can use that full decimal and make sure that I'm not getting any rounding errors. The next step is to take that decimal that I just found. So I'm going to take my 2.037037 dot 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 and multiply it by the numerator. So that is the top number of my fraction. So that decimal that I've left on my calculator screen, I can just type multiply by 14 equals, and that will give me my answer as a long decimal. So it is 28.518, 518, etc. And now that is my answer, but I need to give it to three significant figures. So that answer to three significant figures is 28.5. And that is 14 over 27 times 55. So now thinking to link this back to my marks. So I was expecting three marks for this question. I've got one mark for the final answer. So you'll always get one mark for the correct answer. And I was expecting to have two lines of working, and I do. So I'm going to get one mark for 55 divided by 27, and one mark for that decimal multiplied by 14. 
So that is a three mark question and I have shown all three marks for it. Now, like I said, everything that has gone through my brain, I have written down. So I'm not at risk of losing marks. That is the one thing I would say. Don't try and take shortcuts because that, although it may make the question faster, you may start losing marks because you're not writing your working down, essentially. But top tips are look at the number of marks available for the question. One mark will be for the correct answer. The remaining marks will be for lines of working. It's worth pointing out that some mark schemes are more generous with their working and some are meaner. So, for example, um, the GCSE exam boards tend to be a little meaner. But consistently, there will be two lines of working and an answer for a three mark question. For a four mark question, there'll be one mark for the answer and three expected lines of working. So just write everything down and keep an eye on the marks and the lines of working that you are showing. And that is what I would say to anyone who is asking me about the amount of working they need to show for exam questions.